Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Prince George's County, Maryland, with uh, NOJ News 1, as he attempts to bother some officers from another county who are apparently, according to him, lost and out of their jurisdiction. And he gets butt hurt after he gets dismissed by one of the officers after he demands that they identify. Oh my, oh my, you want to go cry in your bed tonight? But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I got a Montgomery County police sitting over here in Prince George's County, though. been riding up and down the street I wait 650 for a minute they can't come out here and enforce no laws but he's sitting over here in Prince George's County With his emergency lights on. This is car 1821473. And we're at the Bank of America building in Prince George's County, y'all. Tag number 10975. But he can't come down here and enforce nothing. And he's blocking. Well, here in a moment, you will see another vehicle from the same jurisdiction pull up and behind them. And they start making phone calls to who knows who they're talking to, but they appear to be trying to look for something anyway. Maybe they're on a training mission or something like that, or they're in the county to pick up some prisoners. But who knows? But the funny part is they completely... Well, just dismiss Mr. NOJ News here in just a moment. Oh, and he gets real pissed off. He's blocking the driveway over here in Prince George's County, y'all. What? What's your name and badge, Emma? Officer Merriman 9130. Okay. What precinct you out of? Sorry? What precinct you out of? Third District. Okay. So he's over here in Prince George's County blocking the driveway to Bank of America. Oh my God, who the hell cares? But he can't come here and enforce no laws in Montgomery County. He's committing a felony. He has his emergency lights on. In the state of Maryland, you're not supposed to have these lights on unless you're engaged in a, an emergency. Uh, yeah, dumbass. I'm going to need a citation on that particular uh, felony because... When I looked up the uh, laws on that, I, I, mean, I managed to find uh, section 22.218 of the Maryland Traffic Code article, Transportation. And, uh, well, it's not what you think it is, dude. In fact, I think you may be m very much wrong on that because that statute governs the use of lights and sirens within the state and it really doesn't say anything about police uh, as far as it being a felony goes to use it in a non-emergency situation. But what it does say, and this may be where you get this from, is that uh, the uh, fire police of each volunteer company may have their privately owned vehicles equipped with red lights or signal devices designed to admit uh, an oscillating or rotating beacon or other type of uh, emission of light. The lights or signal devices may be flashed or oscillating or otherwise used only when the vehicle is in at the scene of an accident, flood, or other emergency to which the volunteer company is responding. So, uh, I think you may have misinterpreted the uh, whole code, considering it says 
fire police and you probably just blanked out the word fire so you were pretty much cherry picking at that point which is a typical frauditor tactic i'm not exactly shocked by it but it just shows how much of a uh well dishonest moron you are but let's carry on with the show shall we again this is car number one eight two one four seven three and he's parked in Prince George's County at 6475 New Hampshire Avenue. Yeah, I'm right in front of the next one. We got a second one in Prince George's County. This is tag number 07827. That car number one seven two one eight one one. How you doing? What's your name and badge in them all? Why? Damn! Why? It's your protocol to give me your name and badge in them all when I ask for it. Say again. I'm not even dealing with you. Oh, I love this uh, no-nonsense officer who's got better things on his mind than to deal with some moronic frauditor. He's out on a mission, and he's looking to complete it. It's as simple as that. And, oh, by the way, I'm going to need another citation, especially for the the uh, code that you think exists in their department about identifying themselves. Uh, yeah, you really need to quote that code if you know it. it otherwise, you're just pulling it out of your ass and uh, or cherry picking. Either way, it doesn't look good on you. I ask you your name and badge and I'm a servant. Yeah, I deal with you. Okay, we'll be down there to make a complaint on this officer. He doesn't know his protocol. Oh, poor baby. Is it called District Plaza? District Plaza is a fun job. Okay. This right here is a tyrant, a terrorist to the American people right here. Oh, just because he doesn't want to answer your questions, that makes him a tyrant. Well, uh, I'm uh, surprised that uh, being a tyrant has such low standards, because if uh, that were the standards of uh, everybody, then all you frauditors would be tyrants yourself, because you don't you say you don't answer questions. So you might want to rethink the qualifications on how what a tyrant is, because you just set the bar so damn low on that. I mean, you could qualify as a tyrant or any other frauditor. Yes. Got you. So I take a good look at this terrorist right here to the American people. Okay. Do you remember if it's a red brick building? So the strip, the mis or district plaza, there's the pawn shop and everything prior to that. It's supposed to go down the hill. But I swear I went back down there. There's a couple vehicles back there. But not no, 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 no. These individuals are in Prince George's County outside their jurisdiction. And this terrorist right here. So evidently they're going back here to do something. I'm going back here with them. Let's go back and see what they're doing back here. Well, short answer, dude, is you don't find out anything about what they're doing. You just observe and you end up going away. But what really strikes me as funny is you called him a tyrant because he refused to answer your questions. My, 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 such double standards you frauditors have. If they don't answer questions, they're tyrants. Well, if you don't answer questions, what does that make you? 
I mean, you're certainly not going to call yourselves tyrants, are you? When you certainly act like it more than the cops do. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.